I'm telling you, it's like this. Yes. Thank you. Continue. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to see her work. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like, and like I said, when you look at, when you get the story, the story of the both of us and how all of her artwork started, I mean, it's just like, it just blows me out of the water. So now, how are you? I am great. Um, we are, I mean, I had a great uh, talk with, um, hold on, let me turn this off. I had a great talk with Juan O'Savin yesterday. Right. I am very excited about the future. Yeah. I think you are as well. Um, yeah. You know, and the, the, excuse me, one of the beautiful things about you, Tamara, that I love about you is that you're so positive. And I had somebody in my life yesterday that got very upset because they're like half awake. They understand there's a lot of bad stuff going on that seems to be out of our control, but yep. they're not fully understanding that they're, that this is basically the exposure. It's like a controlled yep. demolition of yep. um, what has been ruling our world for a very long time, unbeknownst yep. to us. You know, yeah. and now that we know, now we have knowledge is power. We know now. Yeah. And so yeah. I'm so happy to have you on, especially today, because we're going through, I don't know if I can say this word on YouTube, but the A word, A-U mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. um, competition, I'll say that happened back in November where things are starting yeah. to be exposed. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah. everybody watching yeah. that knows that the competition that happened in November wasn't just about America. No. It's the whole no. world. It's the whole world. It's mm -hmm. the whole world, yeah? Yeah. And it's like I'm sort of sitting, are we recording? Yes, we are. Show's on, show's on. Yes, show's hello, on. everybody. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Now, another one thing that I've done is I've had a lot of a lot of your followers um, actually emailed me in regard to having soul readings. Mm -hmm. So when they go to menu on my, um, on my website, if they go down to um, intuitive, Okay. Intuitive reading. I think he's put it down as intuitive reading. They click on that and what they have to do, they've got to go to the updated reading now. Okay. okay. But they're getting they're getting the full the full two hours for the one hour price. Amazing. All right. Amazing. And they that's just for your your group. Awesome. Well, I'm going to put all that in the description box as well, to your, your, the link to your website so everybody listening, yeah. you know where to go. I got a lot of emails as well about people very um, affected positively about your your message about our soul and our, our dharma, our purpose. And I do think yes. that we're coming into a time with Nasara and Jasara where we're going to be able to really explore work, what real work means, not just to survive, yes. but yeah, to, absolutely. to yeah. be in, in our yeah. purpose. Um, yes. Yes. And I got a lot of questions for you. We have some very smart viewers that had some very awesome questions for you. So do you want to start with that? Some of these questions? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. I'm going to start with Australia since you are Australian. And I had someone from Australia reach out to me um, because I know that with what's going on, everything's so focused on America. So sometimes I think other countries might get ignored with their and all that kind of stuff and i want to say too to all the australians watching australia is my favorite country besides my own country and the, i love australia so much it was yeah. i would move there in a heartbeat if i could it's beautiful the people are beautiful it's gorgeous so uh, somebody well, i just got i just got a hit and spirit just said to me you will be able to do that in the future I oh my god oh my god i'm becoming teary um i'm becoming teary we're going to have that ability to be able to to travel, but travel in such a different way to the way that we have travelled in the past. Now, what they mean by that, it's like I like I don't I don't know because they're not showing me that, but they're saying people will be able to travel in a way that they've never been able to travel before. Another thing that I did get was that there's going to be an antidote for the so yeah it's I, I like I get I just keep I just kept on getting this and I'm going there's going to be a minimum amount of like of lives lost yes in regard yeah. to the in regard to these 
questions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, somebody um, asked, that was one of the questions I got from you was what was the percentage of humanity that won't survive this? Um, oh, really? That oh was my one of the questions that somebody sent and what percentage won't survive this? Right. Okay. Now another, this. yeah, yeah. You're right. Cause they've, they've, they're already been talking to me for the last few days. Yeah. Um, so, and it's like, and I've just been like, I've just been basically bedridden for the last few days, which has been really great. Yeah. Because that's another thing that I'm doing. And I'm saying to people that our, our energies are being thrown around. So, you know, I'm just saying to people, look, it's like this, we're up here. Everyday life is down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're up here at this frequency level. We're having to we're but we're having to function in a world that's working at this frequency level. So we're basically we're split. Our our energies are split. Yeah. And what we're having to do, we're having to dumb ourselves down to deal on this level. And then when you're on your own, it's like you're bringing yourself up. Mm -hmm. so like a lot of my clients are saying I don't want to go out anymore I don't want to go out to events I don't want right. to go to you know like to shopping malls I don't want to go to the supermarket or if I go to the supermarket I go as late as late in the evening as I can when there's hardly any people around so this is this is this is what's happening yeah yeah and Absolutely. it's like and we're and it's like we're <laughs> We're doing this. It's like we're chomping at the bit, waiting. It's like, come on, come on, come on already, yeah? Because yep. it's like we're ready. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. We're ready to jump. We're ready for this new to come in, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, think I think another thing that was really interesting is that one of my close girlfriends tonight, she, was, she sent something to me and she said, she said, I think, she said, I think I get this. She said, and I want your feedback. She's, she said, you know how they're talking about water? Mm -hmm. She said, it's like, it's like we're being drip fed information. Yeah. And it's like, she goes, she said, I think this is the water. This is a part of the water. We're being drip, 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 drip fed this information. Like, you know, like fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one thing I've noticed too, is like how fortunate those of us who are waking up, how fortunate we are that we've been able yes. to wake up slowly because there yes. are people out there that are going to have a bucket of water dumped on their head soon when they're just forced, yeah. when they're catapulted awake, you know, that's and that's right. going to be traumatic. And that's when we're going to have yeah. to swallow our pride and mm -hmm. like reach out and hug them and be like, it's okay. Yeah. Let me explain this to you. You know, yeah. you, know, you called yeah. me names a few months ago. Let me sit down and explain this to you because. Yeah, abs like, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. And I think the thing is, is that, you know, I've said to my girls, I've gone, pull back. Mm -hmm. This is pull back time. Yeah. So where you were all out there trying to get this information out and trying to get people to watch this and watch this and watch this. I said, pull back, pull back. And I said, contain your energy. Mm -hmm. because you, you are going to need that energy to support you with the shift when it comes because I get it's like it's like it's going to be like like a jolt mm -hmm. so we will all be jolted into this into this this new new energy the new energy and and with that with that jolting that we get it's like it's like boom it's like you're awake yep you're you're awake but if we don't contain our energy then then when that happens we we're, we're not able then to be able to support the people that that will actually require support right it's like putting the face mask on yourself the ox first before exactly like the airplane yeah. exactly I yeah. totally agree with you because yeah, yeah. we're going to have to be that that light for people and be grounded mm -hmm. within ourselves in order yeah. to take on that that support that that weight of support why why other people start their process of healing because i feel like yeah. for me you know when you first learn about all their practices we'll just say you go through this like almost like a black pill pill where you're just depressed 
and you have to, but then I feel like I've already healed from that. Like there's an acceptance. I know this happens now. And I think a lot of people on this side of the board have kind of already gone through that process of healing themselves. So uh, now yes. it's like this, okay, now we know, now we have to yep. move forward and never let this happen again. Um, yeah. Yep. So yep. absolutely. You know, and I think, you know, and another, I've got a seminar coming up here in Melbourne on the 6th of June. And um, so within that seminar, I will be saying certain things, you know, for the group. But one of the things I'm finding that is very, 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 very powerful is that I just sort of sit with people and I said, do you realise that there's like six, basically six organisations all over the world that rule all of our media, rule and run our media? Mm -hmm. And they go like, really? And I go, yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I go, and they get directions from a company that's directly linked to the CIA and they get four talking points every day. So no matter where you go in the world, all of the news will be covering the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they just go like, like, oh my god! And I go, yes. Yeah, so stop, stop reading the papers, mm -hmm. stop watching the news, please. And if you are watching television when it has the breaks, and then they come in and go, and the news tonight, all the main time, switch it over immediately. Switch it over. Yeah, absolutely. but one thing that I found that was absolutely fascinating was I think it was Qantas here in Australia. Don't quote me on it, but I think it was Qantas that said um, if people have had the vaccination and die from a blood clot while flying with Qantas, they all have to sign um, like an indemnity against Quant that they will not sue Qantas. Yeah. So they're I aware. Mean, I, mean, I mean, hello, Comet. So if you want to fly with us, that's fine, but we're not going to be responsible if you form a black clot if you've had the vaccine because you've actually done that, uh, you've volunteered to have that vaccine. So that's how they're looking at it. You're all volunteers, so you're all responsible. And if you all drop dead, ho hum, <laughs> not our fault. Right? It's like I'm saying. I'm saying to people, wake up. Yeah. For God's sakes, listen to this. Listen what? to this. And someone recently posted, um, and you know, people have been very frustrated because here in America, for those who are not from America, our medicine is not socialized, it's private. So we yes. do have freedom of, of choice in a lot of ways, which has been pretty good for this situation in itself. But a mm. lot of doctors are pressuring people to get yep. to get it. Yep. And um, somebody posted, remember in the Nuremberg trials, most of the people tried were doctors. For that's right. humanity. That's right. That's tell, right. You have to tell your patients that this is an experiment. This is not that's right. approved. This is not. That's these it. are the side effects. And for that's most right. people I know that have been to their doctors, they're not getting that. They're not getting nope. this. The, the, they're nope. being pressured. You know. That's right. And, and it's it's sad. It's like oh my gosh, it's so sad. Um, but, but you know, but that, that's a, that again, Bryce. As we've you know we talked you know before, it's like we this is all about the fear. Mm -hmm. If they've got you in fear, they have got you. Yep. Anyone that has anybody in fear, they hold the power over you. Yep. So it's about being fearless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's about like like waking up, like but it's ha like it's happening. And I think it was like it was on. I think it was a chart. Yeah, it was Charlie Ward. Love Charlie. Um, and we were, they were talking about sixty five percent. All it's going to take is sixty five percent of the world's population to wake up, and we're right. We're 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 on the we're on the home stretch. And I think they said, and again, don't quote me on it, but I think they said something about that we're at about 61. I think Charlie said 61. Somebody else said like 50-something, yeah. So close. But it's like, but we're so close. 
so close. We're so close, yeah. So now we're waiting for apparently that um, the two actors that are playing Biden, mm-hmm. they've actually been given their, like, their marching orders. Like on this day, it's like you're out of here, you don't have to come up through the tunnel. Yep. Right. You, can go home <laughs> you don't have to come in. You don't have to come in at four o'clock in the morning anymore for your makeup. Yeah. 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 Right? It's like so it's like it's so it's so very it's so very, very exciting. It's so exciting. And I just want to acknowledge everyone out there who has listened, everybody out there who has had an open mind and everyone out there who has stuck it out, that you yeah. haven't given up, you have stuck it out. Yeah? yeah, it's like I just, it's like it's, uh I just love us all. Yes. I love and, it. And I love us all. Yeah. You know, yeah. And it's like when people start to wake up, it's like we're, we're it, you know, the media makes us look like we're crazy, but we're the ones that will take you in and hug you and tell you like, it's okay. You, you were tricked. You, yes. this is propaganda, you know, yeah. and this is so yeah. much, bit, I mean, as Juan was saying yesterday and we know this is good versus evil period. Yeah, this is, yeah. it's, it's, it's so much bigger than just mm-hmm. politics. It's so mm-hmm. much bigger than just one country. This is about yeah. the state of humanity and us, yeah. us, us coming together and honoring each other, each other's sovereignty and each other's freedom to have, mm-hmm. to live life as the creator, the source made us to be. So, Absolutely. Um, so it, when I'm talking to people, like people, you know, your listeners may, you know, they may find this helpful. I just say, we've got the dark, Mm-hmm. And we've got the light. So there are people that are in the dark mm-hmm. and there are people that are in the light. So what we're actually dealing with here is the light against the dark. Mm-hmm. And the dark is starting to, you know, it's losing because the light is just taking over and taking over and taking over. Yeah. You can see it, at least here in America, you can see our politicians starting to crumble. Like you can see yes. it on, um, I, we don't watch the news at all. Um, but mm-hmm. I was with my sister's moving right now and I was at the house she was moving into and the news was on. And you know, every time I see the news on it, it kind of cracks me up because it's so obviously a telenovela. Like it's so obviously fake now. Cause I have, you know, yep. um, and our mayor here in Atlanta was crying on TV because she was go- not going to run again because she was going to run for Congress instead. But she was crying as she was saying this. Now, from what I understand, what my insiders tell me here in Atlanta is that she's been arrested. Absolutely. Her father, her father was in the rap industry here in Atlanta, and we know what the music industry, well, not all the music, but that side of gets into, and she's been um, mm-hmm. accused of using a particular a party drug that they mm-hmm. use, and that she's mm-hmm. been arrested, and she's been under house, uh, the, according to the insider with the police department, she's been under house arrest for a very, mm-hmm. and so her on camera crying, saying that she's not going to mm-hmm. run again, that tells you right there that she's not going to go run for Congress. No, There's it's like she's not going to, she, she ain't going to be here at all. Mm-mm. No, she's not. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's like good night, princess. Exactly. You made your yeah, bed. Now you're lying. Yeah. Yep. See, yeah. You later. see you later, ducky. Not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I'm seeing this as someone awake and I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Like, but other people aren't awake. Just see her as being upset because she's leaving the city of Atlanta. I was like, no, if you were going to go now run for Congress, that would be exciting. That would be a step right. in your political. You wouldn't be out on the That's TV right. crying, you know, That's so right. it's yeah. happening. It's happening. Yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of, I had somebody that wanted to know from Australia when will the Australians start waking up as a whole? And when will people in Australia, do you think, will realize that Australia is also not a corporation anymore, just like the United States of America? Okay, when the United States of America, when all of that starts and you've got Trump, Trump apparently is starting his wellies again, which I just... Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, it's like... It's, of course, of course he's doing his rallies. Like, what else is he going to do with his time? <laughs> So it's like everything, what I'm seeing is that when I look at like a map of the world, yeah, Mm -hmm. and I lay it flat, out flat on my desk, right, (laughs) okay, it's like all all of these energy orbs are going from every country and they're all going to America, Mm -hmm. all of these coloured energy orbs, yeah, are yep. all going in. So it's like 
like I, I wish I wish that this would be different, but it's not. This is just the way that it is because America has been such a an important country for people to focus in on mm -hmm. all of their lives. It's always been about America. It's been mm -hmm. about like like the movie industry, like and the, the music, in, like it's America, mm -hmm. America, America, America. So all like this is why we've got all of these coloured orbs that are going from countries to America. So when America, and I can see it sort of like, like an explosion of energy is the way that I see that this is going to happen. When that explosion of energy happens, it's like then every country is going to be affected by that because there's no way that they can't be that yes, they can't be that. affected. Yeah, well, the you've thing got about it. America too, for people from other countries listening, and I've talked about this with Tom Numbers um, in the American Revolution. Well, the number seventy six is ripple, means to ripple. So seventeen seventy six, we know seventeen, and we know seventy six. This ripple effect, and in the American yeah. Revolution, the the patriots who fought in the American Revolution. Rep really represented every single homeland outside of America. It was this conglomerate, it's a melting pot of people that were mm -hmm. fighting against the monarchy, which is yes. deep state. And so yes. if you look at the planetary alignment too, with, with where Mars was, it was like that 77, 1776 marker for the American revolution was literally catapulting the world into this freedom of getting rid of these these chains that were binding all of us you know yeah. and um that's kind of how i see it because as as americans we're we're a mutt we were from everywhere so you know yeah. and, I'll, and I, i'll say to all you australian listeners too georgia where i'm from was a prisoner state it was a penal colony it was, mm -hmm. but, and then after that australia started to be settled because we then became independent but um so we have a lot in common with australia but um and so this definitely is is going going to i agree with you going to be like a domino effect all over the whole yeah. world where we're yeah. all going to be but like i said it's like it's this it's this explosion it's this explosion that i see happening in america and when that explosion happens then then people cannot cannot not take notice right yep they cannot not take notice because it's like it's going to be it's going to be so powerful mm -hmm. so powerful and it's also interesting because the number 76 if you add that together that comes to a 13 and the 13 in numerology is the number of the death death and transformation yeah yep so it's the it's the the transformational energy yeah Amazing. yeah and Amazing. at the moment like we're, we're in that year vibration of the five which is like like a lot a lot happening a lot happening whereas next year we go into the six which is about humanity so this is about all of the change the change the change the change the change is around mm -hmm. the you know the um the 2021 2021 is the change like i mean it's just right. it's fascinating it's just fascinating and i it's really interesting because one of my girls said to me, she said, like, when do you think that Trump is going to do something? And I said, his birthday is coming up. Oh, my God, something around his birthday. Mm -hmm. He's going to be doing something around his birthday. Well, yep. I'll tell you, too, you know, as when we're kids, I think this is for every country. A child usually is not interested in politics you know the usually when i was a kid i thought that um you know when our parents would put the president on the tv it was boring you know but my nephew is eight years old and he went with my mother to one of the last rallies trump did before november no. and my eight-year-old nephew was mesmerized the whole time he didn't want to leave that's how powerful that's how magnetic he is it's the it's the aura it's, mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the auric field and the children know, the mm -hmm. children know, the that children get it. Yeah. Yep, the children yeah. get it. And did you see, um, like, on social media, the little eight-year-old girl that stood mm -hmm. up? And oh, yes, August. yes, yes. Oh, yeah, the American going, girl. About the, yes, the, yes. About the masks. It's like. Hello, Comet. <laughs> I mean, she was like, "Y'all don't, y'all don't trust God. You don't want us to be free." I mean, she basically said, said very basic, like, "You, you, we, our parents elected you in. You, you need to make sure we're safe." 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh my, it's, I mean, these, yeah, these are the kids. These are yeah. the kids. Yeah. I mean, so do we have any other questions? Yeah, we have a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, okay. speaking, of, speaking of children, we know that Australia was a huge, um, well, we learned that Australia was had a lot of dumps. Um, yeah. So the same person asked, since there was a huge clean out in Australia, and from what I understand, most of that is now finished, is from what I understand. Um, what will happen to all the children that don't have parents anymore? What's going to happen to them? Do you know what? Like that's that's a fascinating, that's a fascinating, fascinating, fascinating one because I think it's like there is going to be like, you know, like in the Bible, it says like suffer little children come unto me. Yeah. So I'm seeing like all of these sort of like angelic beings, but they're actually here on the planet. Yeah. So so human beings that are of the angelic realm that have come in. See, I'm a great believer in walk-ins. Mm-hmm. Like when I was like in my late 20s, yeah, or like early 30s, and this woman said to me, she said, you were very, very ill. No, she said that, no, it would have been about mm, 30, 33, but she said you were very, very ill. And she said, and I, and I was, I had uh, viral meningitis. Oh, and wow. They said to my mum, we don't know if she will actually walk again, yeah? Right, yeah. And she said to me, she said, you had an exchange. You had an exchange. And it's like, and it was at that age when that happened that I started doing my work. Yeah. Like I really got into being serious about the work that I was actually doing in regard to doing readings, yeah? Right. So like that was like 40 years ago that 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 started. Like very, very fascinating. And I think, you know, the thing that's happening is that like all of these angelic beings that have got the walk-ins or are due for the walk-ins to come in, they're going to be um, like working with and healing, healing the children. They'll actually be healing the children. Plus we've also got the med beds that are going to be yeah. happening as well. Yeah, yeah? absolutely, yeah. But I, but I also get this, this a lot. <laughs> Okay, so like with the children, so it's like that to me is they're going to find their families, right? They're going to, to, because there's going to be a way of being able to trace these children back to their family. I don't know whether it's through like DNA, but something they're going to be able to trace. They're going to be able to trace. And if they're not with their If their parents are no longer alive, they will be with blood relatives. They'll be doing this tracing, the tracing, yeah? Amazing. It's like it's it's, it's fascinating. They're sort of like they're showing it to me like I'm looking at, you know how you have um, like a map of the world and you have the strings going out Mm -hmm. to different places like that. That's what they're showing me in regard to these children. There will be strings that will be going out to where these the children's DNA is connected to. Amazing. And that yeah. would be using DNA testing for positive versus. Uh, positive. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Positive. yeah. I know I keep yeah. telling people don't, don't do the DNA testing right now. Wait until we've like flipped right. over so that they're not using it, you know, for the nefarious reasons they're using it for, for positive purposes. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So someone from Australia wanted to know what is going on with Scott Morrison, who is a a prime minister, right? (laughs) Well, it's like our premier Mm -hmm. here in Victoria. Oh, that was the next question somebody had too. It was about him as well. All right. Okay, right. MIA, missing in action. Um, I know of someone that was at the event that the premier was at where he had a very, very unfortunate accident. Oh. So that's with our premier. So I doubt very much if we're actually going to ever see him again. Um, We are, all of us that are awake, are just waiting for, you know, uh, for our prime minister to go away. Yeah. 
But as I'm saying to people, I just say to people all the time, I go, look, I sit and I look at Charlie Ward and Charlie goes, you know, and we've got Mel Kay that's doing her blah, 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 and somebody else blah, 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 and somebody else blah, 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 and Charlie just sits there and he said, well, you know, it's like I've always said, it's a pantomime. It's a pantomime. It's a movie. And we're just sitting back and it's like and we're just viewing the movie and the movie has got to do its scene by scene by scene by scene and then it gets to the end. Yep, yep. So, you know, so, you know, like people are going, oh, what about this, that? And I go, it's a movie. Yeah. It's a movie. It's a movie. And what we have to do, we have to be patient. Mm -hmm. We have to pull our energy in. And we just have to wait. Yep. I and just saying. understand. Because I think something that was fascinating too that I heard Charlie say to Anne um, Vanderstone, you know, Charlie said, you know, it's like when we're looking at the Nasara and the Jazara and with the banking system, he said, let's just stop for a moment and let's just take America. How many banks are in America? Yep. How many branches? Oh, God, 10 just in my one little block right here of Atlanta. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then he said, then go to England. How many banks? Mm -hmm. How many branches? The same with Australia. How many banks? How many branches? So if we, if we cut it down and bring it down to the tin tax, mm -hmm. there's a lot that needs to be done to then do the change over from the old monetary system to the new monetary system. So it's called pull your head in, go have a go have a latte, yeah, and just be patient. And be grateful to be alive to see this happen. Absolutely. Rome wasn't built in a day, guys. I know. Yeah. You know, I, it's so funny, and I've seen little signs because we bank with um, with Chase, which is a Morgan or a Rockefeller bank, and for my boyfriend and I both, we have multiple accounts, and both of us had two accounts where the debit card was, expi got, was expired, and they won't send us the new card. So That's we right. just have money sitting in the account, and we can't get them to send us new cards. And yep. so ta my boyfriend and I are both like, okay, we know what's going on, so we're just going to be okay with this. And yeah. I'm like a block away from the Federal Reserve building here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It's been empty since mm -hmm. March of 2020. That's and right. Atlanta is a driving city. It's not a walking or subway city. And we'll walk back behind the parking lot and there are no cars. The only people there are the ones mowing the grass. Yep. So it's fascinating, it's, isn't it? Interesting. interesting. That was very, very. Yeah. I mean, here, yeah. like just where I am in Ivanhoe in Melbourne, um we have had and it's it's like it's just a strip of shops it's a lot like not a lot but four four branches of different banks have closed four it's a lot so so my own personal bank i have to go to like a couple of towns away yeah if I, if I if i want to do anything you know like i when all of this happened, I just went, right, and I pulled nearly all of my money out and I bought gold and silver. Yeah, we've done that too. <laughs> we, we, we've yeah. been doing that as well. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Um, and, and actually, yeah. we're about to, and I'll, I didn't have this on my questions to ask you, but I want to ask you now because since we're talking about Nasara Jasara. So we have a, you know, the military back channel, number 17, has been talking about how this is all a movie. Um, and we have a chain of movie theaters here in America called AMC. Now, if everybody remembers what happened with GameStop, where they shorted the stocks, and I'm not, the stock market is mm -hmm. not my forte, but basically mm -hmm. people found that the small, the small guys found out that they were shorting these stocks, bought a bunch of stocks, and then you had these big hedge fund managers crying on national TV because they had lost billions of these elite people's money. Well, the same thing is now happening with AMC. Now, AMC, the numerology for AMC is 17. And mm -hmm. we bought some stocks in that and the shorts coming, they're squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing it. And it looks like it might um, be what kind of 
pulls the stock market down, but not in the way that it hurts the people or it's yeah. going to hurt the elite, but yeah. benefit the people. Do you That's have right. any insight on that? Or any thoughts well, on that? You know, like, and you know, see, with with that energy, like that energy again comes from number eight. The number eight is about money, but the number eight is about like as above, so below. Mm -hmm. And you know, so like with when we look at like Q with the number seventeen, like coming to the number eight, as above, so below, as above, so mm -hmm. below. Yeah. Yep. So it's really it's really pushing to bring bring that that heavenly spiritual energy and balancing it with like you know like the basics of mm -hmm. being here, like in the world. Um, but all of a sudden I just see crash, 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 crash. Which we know and it has to what, happen. That's, that's what they keep on telling me. It's just going to be crash, 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 crash. And it has to happen. It has to. Basic, yes. Basically enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And it's enough is enough right across the board. Right. Right across the board in regard to everything. Yep. Everything. Enough's enough. You can't take down the deep state without taking down the banking system. The two, no. the two are one and the same. That's it. it but also, like, as I was saying to people, like, this particular month, for those of you, um, like, get in and follow me on, like, Instagram. Instagram's easier than Facebook because Facebook, I've got to friend you. And so many people. <laughs> <laughs> and I go to the girls, I don't have time to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, with Instagram, but every month I do you and, and whatever the month is. And then I talk about it. And I said about the month of May was going to be the month of exposure. And it was about people who lie, who have lived their lives. Yeah. Like lying, manipulative, being vindictive, um, like consciously hurting other people. Yeah, exposed, 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 exposed. And people are contacting me going, oh, my God, is this happening? It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelie they went spot on the money. Yeah. But, you know, like that they couldn't see it the month before. It wasn't around in April. And I went, no, no, it wasn't around in April. That wasn't the energy month for this to happen. It's the month of May. Yeah, the timing. Yeah, it's, it's the timing. So everything is it's everything is starting to move. Yeah, and then we get the month of June, which is going to be the month of like illumination. Illumination. The month of June is also the energy month of you and me. Yeah, it's the you. It's the you and me. It's not about the me, 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 me. It's the you and me that's going to come in. So I'm looking at this like July, 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 August, you June, the illumination, the number 11 energy. We've got Gemini, which is the two, the twins, which is the two. And which then is, June, Trump June. Too. Yep, and June yep. just this year, just this year, your June energy just this year also comes to the the two, the two, the eleven. Yep. So it's like something is going to happen. Yep. The and spotlight, comes the spotlight is going to be on a whole lot of things, and nobody can run and hide anymore because it's all being exposed for what it really is and it's exposing people for who they really are. And we're coming into a Mercury retrograde as well. Um, for the last part of, and, but, and I know people are always like, oh, Mercury retrograde, but Mercury, Mercury retrograde is also no, ending no, as well. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, ends. yeah, but, you know, the thing, the thing is I say to people, like your Mercury retrograde is giving you time out to reassess mm -hmm. yep. what has actually happened, fix what it is that you want to fix, Mm -hmm. So that when it goes direct, then boom, you're ready to take action. Yeah, it's not. It's not all negative. It's not all. It's not all negative. No, no, mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. no, yeah. not it's, negative. So yeah. I tell people too. I'm like, yeah, you might have some cell phone interruption, but but this is not a negative thing, and it's also a time for projects that you've been working yeah. on or that the world's been working on to kind of come to a completion. And so yes. every Mercury retrograde we've had since the start, I'm always like, oh, what's going to be completed now? Like what's going to be completed now? Yeah, it's, it's that 
I call I call the retrogrades like the working behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. The working behind the scenes, yeah. I love and that. Like I've yeah. been saying to people, this is what's been going on. So you know, so so much since all of this began. Um, like in our November energy of last year, like we really, you know, it started and it was the working behind the scenes and we started to we started to be educated in regard to exactly what is going on behind the scenes, what they what they are actually doing behind the scenes. I mean, just fascinating. Absolutely, absolutely fascinating. Do you think that at some point humanity as a whole will have a a deep understanding of what like the Trump family did or what the alliance has yeah, done? Absolutely. 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 That's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, it's like we all, we all got what Jesus Christ had tried to do. We right. all got that like eventually we got it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there was those who wanted to see that, who wanted to know that. And there was oh, those that didn't want to see that. They didn't want to know that. Yeah. Right. So right. it's the, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's coming out. It's going to come out. And I'm telling you now, it's like, People that are Democrats, mm-hmm. um, they're not going to feel all that great um, saying that that they voted, they've been Democrats. It's like they're just going to be wanting to, like, run for cover, yeah. run for cover when they know. And, I mean, and I'm still, you know, like I've got my clients and that and, and friends in L.A. and, Something I posted something, um, and one of them said, "Yeah, just like all of the with their big loud mouths. When are they ever going to get it?" And I just, I just looked at this and I thought, "What is it? It's like you're a smart lady. It's mm-hmm. like you're you're very aware about programming, mm-hmm. and yet, and yet, look at you." Look at like look at you and listen to what you actually are, like a saying. Look at what it is that you're believing. It's like oh my god! It's like I'm going to have to be there for her as well. You know, it's like all these people, all these people. I can just see like the phone's going to be going, you know, and I'm going to go. I oh, just do a Zoom with me. Just all Zoom in. Everybody just, just come together. We'll just do all oh, one one and we'll have and we'll have we'll have a chitty chat, you know, or like get on get on to Bryce's. Right, we're going to have a talk <laughs> about it. Yeah, it's like because I don't have time to be doing you all individually. Yeah. Well, the but they're all. It's going. It's going to be the the OMG, and then and then, and then it's going to be not only OMG. It's going to be nation. What's in my body? It's excuse my language. It'll be an oh shit moment. Oh yeah, it'll be a really big oh shit moment because mm-hmm. I was saying something in regard to like five years, five years before. Well, the five- I think he, when he came out and um, the guy that used to be like the, one of the heads of Pfizer, I don't know where he was, but he basically said like, you got two years is what he yeah. said. So yeah. um, that made me think, oh, well then they're going to get this done really soon because I know that there are good people out there that have taken the shot just because they felt like they were required to or pressured into it. They're not totally awake, but they're still good people. And it's That's right. Um, and if it's that's karmically, right. if karmically, if there's their time to go, then that's their, that's what they've made. I believe they made that decision before coming on the, the earth plane, but, but most of these people are young and, and good. And, and yeah, that there's going to be. One of, my, one of my, one of my friends, it's like, he, he considers himself very lucky, but he's in the medical field and he had to have surgery. So it's like, and he's still got the anesthetic in his body. So they just said to him, you can't have it. You can't okay. have it for you know a period of time. However, his eighteen-year-old daughter is a nurse, so she's there as a trainee nurse with all of her friends that are around the same age. They all had to have it. It's such a shame. I know. I that, know. That's not that's not free will. That's coercing people. Absolutely. You know, and saying, and you know, because 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 you're nurses and you're working with people, you know, you have to be vaccinated against it. And I just say to people, I go like, oh, look, you know, look, will you just wake up? Will you wake up? I posted how many deaths we had. Mm-hmm. It was up on it was up on the website on the Australian government and the state government. Our Victoria State Government had it up. 
2019, we had we had more deaths in 2019 than what we had in 2020. Yeah. And I've got it in my phone. Yeah, it's on the CDC websites as well for America. Like you can go and look at the it's we did last year wasn't even a bad flu season. No. It no. was such cognitive dissidence. Like people aren't from what I understand of people are dropping dead everywhere. That's right. I That's right. I'll tell you what, I, I, I posted a beauty here, which was the Australian Open, the tennis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I posted that and it was with, what did, else did I post it with? Um, I think it may have been some something, either a religious a normal religious thing or it was Anzac Day or it was something like that, yeah? So there was a, a picture of that at the bottom and the picture of the Australian Open at the top and it said, and we are in a pandemic. Hello. Yeah. Hello. If we're in a pandemic, people will be dying. We right. have people dying in the streets if we were in a pandemic. You wouldn't have nurses and doctors doing TikTok videos. For oh, fun, they would doing be doing the dance. Doing the dance, yeah. It's, um. yeah. My uh, cousin's girlfriend was telling me that one of her friends is an EMT. So in the emergency, he rides in the emergency uh, ambulance, and they went to a car wreck where the guy's head got de- decapitated, and obviously that's how he died. Was he lost his head? But on the scene, they tested him for, and it came back positive. So you know what they put on his death certificate? Absolutely. His head got shot. Like, and my, my, uh, my cousin's girlfriend was like, at that, I, she's like, at that, when he told me that, I was like, Some, this is not right. There's no. something going on. That's right. So that's, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Why would you even test the body? You know how he died. Like, it's pretty obvious, you know? Yeah. And how, yeah. how disrespectful is that to human life? And I'm hearing that with people whose families, you know, relatives were struggling with cancer or diabetes, and they've been struggling for a long time, and they just happen to leave their bodies during this time. And on their death certificate, it's not giving their actual, that's to me, that's so disrespectful to the life. No, that they're, was doing, they're doing COVID because the government pays them X amount of dollars. And then, and then the um, I think I spoke to you about this last time that the hospitals actually went to a lot of my clients who family members died and harassed them, harassed them to put COVID, and then they were being offered ten thousand dollars toward the funerals of their relatives. Wow! Oh my goodness! I know. So if you put on it, we will give you ten thousand dollars towards your relative's funeral. That's unbelievable. That's such co. That I just I know. Like I, if, know. If I would want to like if it were one of my parents and they were battling cancer, I would want that on the and also for you know historical medical records for mm-hmm. future generations to know exactly what they what the possibility. Although I think cancer is not natural to us. I think that's another thing that was given to us by by the call <laughs> so Absolutely. yeah but um i think i think people are going to be shocked to see how many um medical issues we've been taught to fear are actually not natural to our our bodies um and i'll My, say I, because they put this in our food they put this in our water they put this in our air you know i mean i've been teaching women you know like for years and years and years what's in your makeup what's in your skin yep. care yeah, that, that absorbs in through your skin what's being pack, packed in plastic because they're made, plastic's made out of petrochemicals and whatever yep. is packed in it, it's going to leach out the petrochemicals out of the plastic and then what you're going to do, you're going to consume that and then it's going to activate your estrogen receptors. Mm-hmm. So then you become estrogen dominant and what happens if you become estrogen dominant? If you're too estrogen dominant in a man, we've got pancreas, we've got... Um, testicular cancer um, or we've got prostate and then if we've got the women well then we've got ovarian or we've got breast cancer i mean hello they've literally been attacking us from every every angle every angle in what every happened? angle it is not like like you look at bill gates for example and it's not like he's tried to hide it you can find interviews where he's talking about eugenics 
yeah. through medicine. Yeah. It, it, yeah. He's not, this isn't, he's, he, this is out of his own mouth, you know? Yeah. And I was saying, then again, then again, as we know with the cabal, they have to. Yeah, they do. They have, they have to, to. They have to show us what they're going to do. They have to tell us what they're going to do. They're going to put symbolism out on this doll and that doll or on this cartoon and that cartoon and just program us. It's like it's out there. Yeah. And because we don't stand, we haven't stood up and gone, hold on a minute, mm -hmm. let's have a look at these games that you're putting in, you know, for kids, you know, that are there doing, you know, their PlayStations and all of this, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The parents are going, oh, off you go. It, you know, you just go in there and do that because I've been working all day and I'm exhausted. So mum's exhausted, dad's exhausted, the child's off doing whatever. Yeah, absolutely. And this is called, and this is called our lives. And we're used and to it now. Going, Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's have a look at what these kids are looking at. And the yep. thing is, is because all, like all of them, they all want to be a part of this. They want to fit in. Mm -hmm. so I mean it's like well oh boy boy oh boy boy oh boy bring it on bring on the explosion <laughs> bring on the explosion we keep waiting for those 10 days of darkness we're like come on come on please please and yeah you know, I have a little internet hiccup I'm like oh, is, it, is it here is but, this uh, it? yeah but it's like but is it going to is it going to be in that way you know that's but what I, that's what I, like, question I was going to ask you this is it you know this yeah. is the thing you know like in regard to like like with with Charlie and and with all of them it's like when we look at it and it's like 10 days and that it's like well, how is this going to show up? And would they tell us anyway? No, they won't. Because mm -hmm. if they tell us, it means that any any of the cabal are still hanging around. It's like you're giving them the information, so you're having to you're having to give a certain amount of information, and then you're having to hold back mm -hmm. a certain amount of information. So then we've got to go in and we've got to look at our cue posts, and we've got to try and work out the. Cue and thank you to everybody um, that have given their time to right. actually go into Q all that information. Michael Jaco, I think he is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. What an unbelievable dude he is. Um, so, you know, we're so, we're so very, very lucky to have all of these people doing what it is that they're doing. And like I explained to people, it's like we're all cogs that make up a wheel. Mm. Yeah? And every, every, every cog in that wheel is important for the wheel to go around. Right. Yeah. So very, very important. So everyone has played their role in getting information out there and in having people out there in the world not going into fear. Right. And that's one thing I love about Charlie. And he will say all the time, and I respect it so much, where he says, sometimes they give me fake information and I'm totally happy putting out fake information if it means it's going to get us to our end point safer. Our end point sooner. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I love that. He's you like, know, use me, use me. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. But also, also with Charlie, he just says, um, I'm not perfect. And, you know, there's been quite a bit that's gone on out there, um, as we know. And I wrote a post and I just said, listen, listen, all of you. It's like, I'm over this. Mm -hmm. I'm over this. Yeah. Um, I didn't know. First up, I didn't know that God resigned and asked a mere mortal <laughs> to take his place or its place, yeah? And to all of you out there that are saying what you're saying, obviously you have a clean past. Right. Your past, your past is squeaky clean. Do you know what? I'm so very, very happy for you. But, you know, there are some of us like me and a lot of other people that we don't have squeaky parts. <laughs> like, please, please. <laughs> and, we, and we want this world to work. Mm -hmm. And you who are supposedly awake are wasting your time on this. 
You're trying to bring down people on your same team. Absolutely. Absolutely. If people want to follow that person, that's who they follow. If they want to follow that person, that's who they follow. So long as we get the movement happening with people and we get people waking up, I don't care how it has to be done. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, for the for people who grew up in a Christian faith, most of Jesus's apostles were considered bad, bad people. You had tax yeah. collectors. You had, you know, so I think God uses people who had mm-hmm. or he allows people to have an interesting past because through those experiences, you gain wisdom. And so I someone see. like Charlie, I, I was telling Tom over the numbers to just the Montreal, who's close to Charlie. I was like, you know, in a spiritual sense, I see Charlie is super spiritual because he's calm. Yep. He's yep. very upfront with stuff. Uh-huh. He's, he's lived his life. He's not trying to talk over your head. He's not trying to prove no. to you anything. No. No, and, 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 that's it's, and it's called and it's called and if you don't like me that's fine yeah that's fine you know if you don't agree that's cool yeah go and find you know go and find somebody else that you agree with go and do whatever it is that you need to do and he's got a sense of humor you know and it's and we all need to be able to laugh during this time because who knew that we would be living through it you know like you know I there's know. just i mean every time i see biden on tv i get cracked up and i'm like that guy deserves an academy award when this is all said and done <laughs> They probably will. They probably will, the both of them. I know. He sure is having a lot of fun playing this part. You know? yeah. so, like, um, it's, like, it's amazing. It's amazing, it's amazing. Like, when, it, when it all comes out. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, so somebody we asked you, more- mm-hmm. I thought this was interesting. They asked, will we experience physical suffering before the awakening? Like, will there no. be any, like violence? You don't think No. I think I think we've had the violence. I think we've I think we've had it. We've we've had it. We've already we've already experienced that. It's like will we have some people going a bit cray cray? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely we will. Yeah. But yeah. as far as the violence violence is concerned, um I don't I don't see that. Right. And from my understanding, I feel like at least I know here in America um, I've seen the cops out more here. And I think that from what I understand, the National Guard has been deployed and is just kind of hanging out in certain areas. So if something were to erupt, I think that, and I think this is probably true across the board, that military would be, for, for, through the alliance, not the the dark side, but would be available to, to squash absolutely, it. Absolutely. And I think the thing is, is that they've taken... they've taken this long for it to all play itself out because Trump wants the least amount of human suffering right. in every country, the least amount of human suffering in every country. And so by taking this period of time, it's giving more time for people to wake up, mm-hmm. for people to get used to that, for people to even adjust their energies, mm-hmm. Yeah, like their their auric energy, the the energy within, you know, like their frequencies are all changing as well. So right. it's being, it's given that time for that frequency change over to happen in a really gentle way instead of it being whoosh, boom, right. here it is, yeah? Right. Well, you know, it's funny. My, my mother gets very emotional about our situation with, the Biden administration. And, you know, we're seeing the gas prices rise. We're seeing like how the lumber, I mean, it uh, crazy inflation right now. And, and she's like, well, if this is all a movie, how come this is happening? I'm like, because in the bigger picture, this is Mm. waking people up. That's right. When, when it has to, it has to, to. because it's like, it's like, what is it? What is it that wakes people up? What is it that people take notice of when it hits their, when it hits their pockets? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, when it money. hits their pockets, that's when they start to wake up and go, oh, hold the phone here. Like, yeah. hold the phone. Like, what exactly is going on here? This is not cool. Yeah. Right. right. But it's it's like, I think it's like, I think, look, I think it's brilliant. I think the way that they've, that they've handled it, the way that they've gone about it is like, is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. Oh, uh, just, no, the- yeah. Do you believe they're having assistance from like the um, Federation of other beings? Yeah, me too. 
Do you think we have actually seen entities or beings from other planets in the public eye that look like us, but might be from other planets? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> when, when will we, when will that disclosure come? It's like, if it's needed, if it's needed to, it will, if it's not, it won't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it's like, it's like the, see Ruth Montgomery's books is what introduced me to walk-ins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I was told and I was told go, and one of her books is called strangers among us. Yeah. Okay. Right. Strangers amongst us or among us. Yeah. And I still have the books. I mean, I got these books way back in the 80s or like the late 70s. No, yeah, the late 70s, yeah. Um, and it's like they're, they're here and they've been here for a long time and they are among us. Yeah. yeah. They, look like, they look like us, they talk like us, they act like us, but they're carrying this such incredible frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you'll find that that children will be attracted to them. Children will just go to them because they're they're of they're of that like and I call it I call it the angelic realm. Yeah. yeah. Um but it's like they're they're of that they're of that frequency. Yeah, my boyfriend has experience he grew up in a military family and he's had some experiences with extraterrestrials and all that kind of, he, he talks about walk-ins all the time. And it's funny a few weeks ago, um, cause where I am in Atlanta, I'm right by a very wealthy neighborhood that we know is probably an Illuminati neighborhood. And he was driving down the street to go to the grocery store. And he came back after the store and he looked like he had seen a ghost. And he was like, there was an angel. He called it an angel. It was, might've been an ET. I don't know. He's like standing at the entrance to the neighborhood. And I was like, how did you know? And he was like, I, I just knew the way that the being was standing there and the mm -hmm. way it looked and mm -hmm. it looked like it was guarding something. And he yes. just looked completely just the color was gone. I mean, it was a good thing, but it was like that shocking moment of, mm -hmm. of being in broad daylight and seeing this entity. And part of me was like, I wonder if anybody else noticed it or if they couldn't even see it because they weren't even that frequency wasn't wow. there for them. Uh, build it and they will come build it and they will come and then all of a sudden the brother-in-law goes ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. it's like oh so you see them too ah. <laughs> yeah build it and they will come and it's interesting it's like a lot of the time when I'm when I'm presenting somebody will come up and they'll go like I don't know if you realize this or you've been told this before I go oh god here we go again you know <laughs> And I go, yep, yeah, what? And they go, you've got these, there's like a big, like these big beings that stand behind you. And I went, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is why I say, look, when I do, when I do, you know, people's, the intuitive soul reading charts and things like that, I just say to them, this is not me. Yeah, this is not me that's doing this. It's like this is what this is what comes through. This is what I get told. This is what I get shown. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's like and it's the same as when I present the seminar, people will say, She's not the same Tamara that you see in everyday life when she is presenting. It's like she walks at the front of the room and she just it's like she just goes, Okay, all right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, cool. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> and I just say to them, like, let's go, let's yeah. go. And I'll be, I'll be, you know, like doing something in the seminar, and I'll just turn around and I'll look at somebody and I'll go, you lost, you lost a mother or something. And I mean, the seminar is about, you know, dealing with subconscious stuff from your childhood, um, and transforming that and getting rid of your emotional pain. But I will, I will see something, or I'll be told something about someone. You know, or in the break, I'll go up and I'll go, oh, such and such is here. And they just wanted to let you know, blah, 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 blah. And people just look at me and go, oh, okay. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> You're, You're real. Okay. You okay? You're okay? They go, yeah, yeah, okay. I go, cool. Okay, see you later. Well, I'll tell you, after I did the last episode with you, I texted my mother because 
I went to Australia with my mother back in the early 2000s and we loved it. We, and I said, mom, I was like, when, when this is all over and we can travel again, we're going to go to Australia and we're going to take tomorrow's what we're going to do her seminar. We're going to go to oh Australia. And she was like, Oh, I would, well, let's, let's plan it. I was like, when, when we're able to, when, when the, you're when able to, we're gonna yeah. come, I was like, I'm going to tell her that and once it's called, and it's called, it's called born to be free. Yeah. It's funny because my mother, she's interesting. It's like she's half indoctrinated and half awake. And um, her si- my mom's parents died early. And then one of her sisters died at like 42. Of, she had health issues her whole life. And um, my niece, who's six, the minute my niece was born, my mother kept saying, that's Mary Jo. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my sister. Like that, my niece, mm-hmm. she's like, that's my sister. And so there's mm-hmm. a side of her that is aware that there is mm-hmm. something so much bigger than what, what we've been taught. And so mm-hmm. for that, I'm really proud of her to, to be aware yeah. and awake that, that we can come so, back. So when, when I do your soul reading chart, okay, I'll have a look at mums as well for you. Oh, awesome. So, awesome. So you, you can record it. Because I insist people record it because it's two hours, yeah? Perfect, yes. Yeah, you'll record it and just play it for her. for her because there's something that your mother needs to be told. There's something they're waiting around to give her information. Yeah. Well, she, um, my name, my first name is her maiden name. So um, I'm very hurt that I love my dad's family as well, but, but that side of the family I grew up with, I mean, we, we were always with my cousin. I mean, that I was close to my, it was four girls and my mom's family. And so, so absolutely. I do feel like there's a lot of karma there and there's a lot of, um, you know, and you talked about, you got really sick and that kind of transformed you. The same thing happened to me at 15. I got really, really sick. I had scratch marks. So it was very spiritual. My body temperature dropped to like 92, which normally it's around 96. So my mother experienced that as well. And she kept looking at the doctor saying like, what's going on? And, you know, they couldn't give her answers. And so she would see me get scratched. She would see, and a lot of other people I've worked with have told me that was like a a rite of passage. A lot of it has to do with your bloodline, you know, with, Mm -hmm. and and it did change my life. It uh, it did change the course of my life to bring me to where we are today. So, Mm -hmm. um, so she did witness that. And that was definitely out of the realm of what she considered like normal. Um, we yeah. found out that my great grandfather, her grandfather was a 33rd degree master Mason. And mm-hmm. she's had a really hard time with that because she loved him. Yeah. But you know, you, you sort of looking at things because like my dad, my dad was a Mason, you know, and oh, I've yeah. just gone, oh, oh well, hold on a minute. Yeah. Cause my yeah. dad was really, really spiritual. He was all about God. Yeah. And, he would pray, but you know, but he didn't go. I think he became a, ma- a mason. He died at fifty-eight. I think he became a mason around about the age of fifty-three, like something, right. something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but like never talked about it because it's all this private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, dad would, you know, and it was dad that sort of that said to me, when you are out walking in the world, just remember the ground is the is the the floor of God's church and the sky is is the you know is the roof of God's church. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's like, yeah, that's that's perturbed me a bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I you think know? what what I've learned with them is like when you get to the 33rd degree, that's when you start getting really nefarious. Versus maybe below that, it's not, it's, you know, not as, as intent. I don't know. I mean, I, obviously I will never know because we're women. <laughs> you don't get to go inside those and like learn what they're actually oh. doing, you know? Yeah. But, um, but, and I think too, it's just, it's just the, un- it's like, it's like a knot that's unraveling, you know? Mm-hmm. And when your whole world starts to unravel around you, it can be very scary, especially if you don't totally understand that it's unraveling to a better place. And that's wrong. We're yeah. un- we're unloading our ancestral. We're lo- unloading so much karma and so much. Um, you know, I've I've looked into and actually somebody asked because I know my bloodline. I know I'm Rh negative. I know I don't have the rhesus factor in my blood. Therefore, I don't connect to monkeys. Um, and my whole thing is like, well, if I don't, if 15 percent of the world doesn't connect to evolution, then in my mind that tells me none of us do. And the different blood types, it's like, well, how did we get here? Where, Mm -hmm. and uh, what Wano Saban said yesterday that was so interesting was that the Tower of Babel, we misunderstand it as an actual, we think it's an actual tower, but what they were building was a space force. They were trying to go back home. They were trying, they knew they were on a prison planet and they were trying to go back home. 
and it wasn't oh. time yet. And oh. so they were dispersed and they all of a sudden couldn't speak to each other and because they needed to stay here. And now we've, we've broken through that where we can communicate with each other. And so that now, what is the next step? Do now, what do we learn about ourselves? Wow. Isn't that powerful? Isn't like, that it's, cool? it's, it's so cool. It's don't, so you, cool. don't you love this stuff? You know? I know. <laughs> I mean, this is what I mean, what I said before about how we're all cogs in this wheel and we need each and every one of us is needed for the wheel to go around. Right. You know, so it's like, oh, like I can remember like a couple of the people that were, they were talking about, oh, I've got X amount of followers now and now I've got, and, I'm, and I would sort of sit and I'd look and I'd go, oh, go away, <laughs> you know. It's, it's like you, you're losing it. You're losing what this is all about. It's not about your followers that you've got. It's about the message getting out there to people. That's what it's about. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, you it's know, a, it's, about, it's about empowering people. Yeah? yeah. And we're all in this together. It's like what, what 17 says where we go, when we go, all. We're all in this together. And they yeah. want to conquer and divide us, but we're all in this together. And yeah. um, our DNA, in my opinion, you know, they tell us we have 97% junk DNA, but I don't think God creates junk. No. So what mm -hmm. is it? What are we going to learn? Well, how special are we? And when you, tell, when you tell someone they came from a monkey, mm -hmm. that kind of limits their thought process on what they can actually do. But when you say, listen, look at your blood type, look yeah. at, there's something you are not, you need to figure out we are, we all get to figure out like where we actually come from. Yeah. And, how and something, something was fascinating too. It's like um, my girlfriend, Helen, something came to her and she said to me, she said, can you, can you do me a favor? And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want me to do? She said, can you please throw the cards to see if you, if you throw back to the Kennedy bloodline? And I said, like, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> can you do, and I went, why? Why are you asking me to do this? She said, because, she said, she has a fascination with, I can't remember what it was now. And she said, and wherever I go, I collect this. And she said, and I've actually found out that I actually throw back to that bloodline. Wow. In that country. And, and she said, and with you, she said, you've got every book on the Kennedys that's ever been written, plus Ethel, plus Jacqueline Onassis, <laughs> plus John, all of the books, and you've got every DVD that has ever any movie to do with them. She said, look at it. Look at the stack and you keep on going back and you keep on playing the DVD. You keep on playing the movies. You keep on playing the home movies of the Kennedys. You keep on reading the books over and over again. She said, there's something, there's a connection. Did Were you able to find out if you are? No, <laughs> I just, but I just thought, like, I just said to her, holy shit. I said, that's really interesting. <laughs> but, you know, I said, that's just, that is fascinating. She said, well, there's something because she said it's like you're obsessed about the Kennedys. There's a connection there. There's a connection. There's, there's, there's a connection. Yeah. Was, would it be past that's life stuff? Oh, God only knows. I don't know. It's like yeah. I'll find out when I'm meant to find out, you know. <laughs> John John reveals himself and the next thing you know you're coming over for Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, hey, T, yeah, do you want to come over? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's what I've been like. It's, I can remember like with Lionel Richie sort of saying to somebody it's, and, and they, they met me and they looked and they just said to him, she's normal. It's like, yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. Because he'd ring and I'd go, what do you want? What do you want? You know? And he, he just laughs. <laughs> he just laughs because it's like, it's like you guys, you're just people. But like I've said, I think, you know, it was with the show that we did last time about how I got so emotional about all of these creative people yeah. being caught. Yeah. Being caught. And it's like we've got no, like, 
we're caught. There's no way out. If we want to do our talent, we're caught. You know, it's like, and then one of the girls, and they said the back, the background, like the background dancers, they were told they have to dress like this. The sets have to have this. The girl herself has to dress in a certain way. Um, on her record covers, she has to have this and this and this. It's all controlled and it is all manipulated. But even with the young singers now, they are given the songs that they have to sing and they don't have a choice, but they've got to sing, they've got to sing those, those songs. And I go like, thank God, Lionel and Michael were way back then and they actually wrote and produced and sang their own songs. So yeah. the the vibration of that music back then is so very, very different to the music now and what the music now is doing to people and doing to kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like when all, of, when all of this comes out, it's like, and I really, really, I hope and pray, I hope and pray that it's like that, Diana is still here, that JFK Jr. is still here, that Michael is still here, that all of these incredible human beings are still here and they just had to step aside for a period of time until the energy was right for them to then feel safe to come out and to be a part of the world again. It's like the world's going to be an amazing place. Oh, absolutely. We well, you know something yeah. interesting in life. One said as well yesterday, you know, on, on September 2001, that hope that we now know that was a ritual, but he, and I, I'm going to paraphrase. So I apologize if I'm not saying it exactly correct, but that there's a bunch of the buildings that were around the towers mm -hmm. and it was all these, it was where Virgo was placed. And when the buildings came down, it was like bringing a, opening a gate of like yep. demonic stuff to come in. A, por a portal. Yep. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. basically why things have gotten the way they've gotten. But but it, it's almost like, and I think maybe Janine said this. I can't remember who said this. Or maybe it was you. That when you're um, like giving birth, right before the, the baby is born, it's like the most painful thing you'll experience. But mm -hmm. then once the baby is out, you're then, mm -hmm. it was worth it. And you're in this. Yeah. No, that wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, no, that wasn't me that said that. It's like that was probably Janine. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, even 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 when you look at like Ground Zero and you look at the monument, where does it is the monument above ground? No, it's not. It's going down into the ground. Right. Yep. And it was it was the World Trade Center, mm -hmm. not just the American Trade Center. Mm -hmm. It was the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. So again, it comes back to. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Did you see, um, oh, look, it's fascinating. Did you see um, the video of the actual explosion and then how they superimpose, like, the plane? Yes. I've, yeah. Oh, my God. Talk about Project Bluebeam. <laughs> like. Like hello comet, and then you look over at the world, the the other building that just came down on its own. That's that's really interesting. Wasn't that Isn't building it? seven or something that had a bunch of information in it? Yeah, mm, building seven just just like sort of like just did a collapse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just did a faint. It just fainted. <laughs> like. Like, hello. Now looking, it's like, how did we not see that? Actually, that's what woke my boyfriend up back in 2001. He, that's what, he was like, this is not right. You know, that's what he had been doing. Well, it's funny with like um, Diana and John F. Kennedy, they died right before that happened. So yeah. it's like they were pulled out right before this big portal opened so that they yeah. can continue working in the backgrounds as we believe that might be the case because um, yeah. it's such an epic battle. But my, my boyfriend had also, right before that happened, he had, he had been living in India studying intense spirituality. And so I think because he had done that and because he grew up on military basis, so he had a, like a deeper understanding, mm -hmm. that's why mm -hmm. he was able to like look, look, look around and be like, wow, that's not the truth, yeah. you know, because part of spiritual work is being able to see the truth through the illusion. You know, mm -hmm. um, and so, so yeah, it's, it's, um, and it's funny because I think so many more people now are open to that. That was an inside job, that it wasn't, 
what they, you know, so you see yeah. that people are starting yeah. to accept certain realities that, um, yes. you know, yeah. which is yeah. good because there's a lot more realities that they're going to have. Lot, there's a lot more to come. It's, it's coming. It's coming. And I hear yeah. from, from people, and you probably know that Los Angeles is like a ghost town now, that so many people have been popped and, mm -hmm. you know, people are seeing all these shows are getting canceled and it's, it's very coincidental. You, know? like you, you look there and I'm just looking at the people that are still living there. So it's like, okay, so if the people that are still living there are still living there, then are they cool? Right. Are they cool and the others have been taken away? I mean, I'm, I'm also fascinated with that. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to learn way more. fascinated with that and waiting to see exactly how that's going to play itself out and those people that are left could probably write some great tell-all books to help wake people up about what oh, they experienced some great music and you know and yeah. put out some incredible movies yeah yeah to yeah. help with the healing to actually help with the healing absolutely the musicians actually writing you know like writing, um, you know, like music for the film, so but it'll be of a certain that certain vibration that is going to help with the healing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I will say, even here in America, we have so many like reality shows here, and a lot of the real, even the even like the reality stars, a lot of these shows have ended early, and I there's know. speculation that even some of these people that you don't associate with Hollywood because they're reality show stars are also dirty. Uh and Absolutely. that's and that's some of our waking up too is that these people that are most of them not all of them but that get that successful there's a reason why that's right and and that's something that we you know nothing in life really is free well with under the cabal <laughs> it should be free under under god it'll be free but you know and so that's that's going to be um i think it's going to be hard for people to but also it kind of teaches us not to worship false idols don't worship people absolutely, absolutely. you know you yeah. It's like people would say to me, like, oh, my God, you know, Lionel Richie. And I go, yeah, that's rich. <laughs> and they go, oh, my God, you know, I'd love to meet him. I go, yeah, so would a lot of people. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll say, too, even with you, because I see you as somebody who's famous and who, you know. Oh, get you're, out. No, but oh. you're so easy to talk to and so normal. And Charlie Ward was the same way when I've been on his show. He was just so easy to talk to. And it's like you, you we forget that people are just people. We're just and people. Yeah. And these celebrities have put on pedestals, and they're really just people. They're just yeah. people. They're Blue just people. Eyes. Yeah. 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 You know, like it's like the first time I stayed with, you know, with, with the Richies and it's like and I came down like because I didn't know whether they I'd get all dressed up like they did in the Nelsons with Ozzy and Harriet and all of those, you know, all of those <laughs> guys. Um, it's like, you know, like am I meant to dress up? And I just came down in the kitchen and there he was in a you know, in sweats and I walked down in sweats, he goes, Hi and I went, Hi. He said, Do you want something to eat? I went, yeah. He said, Okay, come over here and you know, and help yourself. So there we are, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, I'm here standing <laughs> next to Lionel Richie making, you know, making a sandwich. Yeah? That's oh, like, like a bit surreal there for a while, you know, but it's like, no, it's how we are programmed mm -hmm. to see these people. It's, it's how we're programmed. Right. You know, As Q said that... When in actual fact, they just are who they are. They're right. just who they are. Yeah, and Q said that. Q said in one of his posts, um, they thought you would follow the stars, meaning the mm. celebrities, the idols, because mm. we, they, we have been programmed to see these people as being more special and more worthy than any other human being. You know, yeah, better than, better than. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and they're all owned. And yeah, no. and that it, they would tell us what to do and what to think and that we would just follow. And they never, I don't think they ever considered the fact that Trump would win, you no. know, they, they never thought she Hillary would lose and, right. and that this, this great reckoning. And I know it's not just, um, you know, a lot of people understand now that most of the Bible is written 
is it a st astrology book you know about the stars and absolutely yeah. and the numbers yep yep seven 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 yes you know and yep. off we go absolutely yeah. and yeah. um and at the end you know we always say in the end god wins and at the end of revelation it talks about it's the the darkness isn't we're going to evolve into a positive peaceful yep. planet that's I just it. it's written in the stars you know and that's that's um and we just gotta again and i've heard from people of uh, spiritual people that for us to be here right now in this time that it was literally a we were lucky that so many souls wanted to come to the earth during mm -hmm. this time yeah. to be here for this yeah. and we yeah. were the lucky ones that actually mm -hmm. got picked to come mm -hmm. down and be here for this purpose you know mm -hmm. to help the, the I earth you, i tell you what's real also been very very fascinating is that a lot of the a lot of the people like yourself like with charlie like that the people that are out there and are doing doing what you guys are doing it's like i've looked at the energy around and i've looked at from whatever information i can get they're all they're all of these grade six what i call grade six master souls uh-huh yeah and it's like and it's being here on the planet to make a difference in this particular lifetime yeah and it's like and it's just like so i can't wait to do your charts i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it's funny i was t my boyfriend and i you, he's 10 years older than me but we're literally we're like made for each other we we'll go on walks with our dog and just talk about the crazy i'm sure if anybody walked by us they probably would think we were crazy about what we were talking about but you know um i always i was telling him i was like it's so funny because as a kid we were taught to make like five-year plans 10-year plans and i never did that because yeah. I always felt like something was going to happen. There was yeah. something that was good. It's like I knew. And my boyfriend mm -hmm. said the same thing. Like he just always knew yeah. that there was something that was yep. going to happen. Yeah. And there's a, this dude on the planet called Buckminster Fuller. And Bucky would say, focus on the, the outcome picture that you want. So you go in, you go into the soul, connect with that. And then just go, right, give me the picture of the outcome and focus on that and the universe will take you on the journey. He said, you know, he, he's, he was a great one for saying, like, goal setting, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, it's, yeah. this is your conscious mind trying to control things. Right. All you have to do, connecting with your soul, your soul will then give you the energy of the outcome. And all you do is just picture and focus on that outcome. And then the universe will take care of the journey for you. Yeah. It's really easy. Super easy. Yeah, it's super, super, easy. super easy. People go, you know, like, how do you do how did you get this? How did you get that? How did you get to meet this person? How did I said I just did my work? Yeah. <laughs> well, how did you know your work? Oh, I don't know, it just came to me. Gee, yeah. I think this disappeared. This sounds this feels good. It's, you yeah. know, like this might, this might work. I sort of get, you know, like, well, if I do this and I do that because I've done this and I've done this and it made this difference to me in my life. So if it made that difference to me in my life, maybe that will work for other people. So then I started doing that for other people and then they started changing. So I went, oh, look at that. Yeah. And then they told other people what they had done and here I am like 30 years later, later still doing Born to be Free. Yeah. Here I am 40 day 40 years later still doing soul reading charts. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I can't wait yeah. to go to Australia and do your seminars. I can't wait. Oh, I know <laughs> it's so cool. I can't wait yeah. to have you in person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um so yeah. well I know it's getting quite late for you over there in Australia and I appreciate you staying up late for us over here in America. Well, I'm going to I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to have a cup of Oh, good for you. Well, I'll let I'll let you go enjoy your evening and let's uh, schedule something with your friend. Yeah, absolutely. With Eleni. Yeah. And again, yes. the, you know, your your followers, your listeners that are wanting to have the charts done, they a lot of them sent me through information. So we've got a special. Yes. So they get, normally it's the four hundred and forty dollars Australian to do a two hour with all of your followers, they do, they um, ask for the updated reading. 
Okay. And that's 350 Australian, which comes down to about 200 and something yeah, American. American, which is yeah. so good. All of the Americans go, oh, goody, yeah. goody. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody from England listening, you got it even cheaper. So, cause yeah, cheaper <laughs> still, cheaper still, yeah. So. Um, and then you just go in, you can pay online, and then and then we will contact you and go, right, this is the date of your reading session and we just need, to, you know, we'll just email, we need this information from you. And then I set the charts up and then boom, and then off we go on a Skype reading. Perfect. And I'll, I'll put links to your website, everything for you. I will put down in the description box below. So it's easy for um, our viewers to just go up in there and just click on the website right away. And, yeah. um, and I'm so, I'm going to go ahead and put your friend's website, the artist, your and, and the website yeah. as well, just so my yeah. viewers, our viewers can see her work. And the next time we'll yeah. bring her on too. So we can celebrate yeah. her craft as well yeah. um, on yeah. this show. So, cause now we're moving in a time where we get to actually celebrate I know, I know, and then it's about you know, like with her, with her, with her spiritual. Oh, her, I mean, her, her artwork. Oh, and what she's about to work with now. I got a vision of that for her about six years ago, and oh, she wow. said that she's ready now. She's ready now. Yeah, she's ready now. Yeah, and it's got awesome. to do with it's got to do with the slave trade. So it, it's that's going to be quite fascinating. Awesome. Well, where, yeah. where we go, when we go all, we're all in this together. We're all, we're, as Ram Dass, my favorite spiritual teacher, used to say, we're yeah. all just walking each other home. We yeah. are. Just walking absolutely. each other home. Yep, absolutely. So, so blessings, gorgeous girl. Let's Love to feel better. Out there, out there, out there. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of love to you. And I will talk to you very soon. <laughs> okay. We're talking about, about, I've got a seminar on the 6th of June. Okay. Here, I've got a Heal Your Heart seminar. So okay. that following week, we'll get on with Eleni. Okay. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye.